So uh, this is one of the returns I received back and you can see how UPS left the box. You can actually see it sticking out from the bottom there. Okay, so we'll figure out what's wrong with this one. I, I know it's a crane scale, but let's see what's going on and see if I can fix it. So let's take it out of the box. So uh, you can see the damage on the screen and the screen actually fell off during shipping. So most likely uh, UPS damaged shipping. Uh, before I also had, a, I already knew the error beforehand where it was getting like upside down use, like the bottom half of the numbers were just gone. So in this situation, it was just a bad LCD anyways. So if you watch my previous video on how to fix the PCBs on these crane skills, the board itself has to be replaced. I mean, it didn't really matter that it fell off because the numbers themselves were not showing accurately. So I'm gonna have to get a new board. And hopefully that's it. Hopefully that wasn't the only damage that had it. So let me show you the new board. So that's the new board and the buttons are on there. So we're gonna have to remove the faceplate. So you can see me slowly working on it, or fast forward, I guess. Let's see if I could take the face plate off. Careful with the glass. Let's see, that was shipping damage. But it didn't really matter. The LCD was bad on this anyways, when I saw the photos. And you can see the four load cell wires. Oof, this black. Uh, oh, this is the film around it. Okay. So these are the four LED load cell cables, excitation plus, signal plus is green, signal minus is white, and EXC minus is black. And then these are just the two power connectors for the batteries, so. Okay, I can now separate the face plate. So, what's interesting is the gasket around it helps a little bit with water sealant, so water doesn't get in as easily. It kind of fell off. And if you need a new face plate, we also have these. You can see it's kind of just a sticker in a plastic, maybe acrylic, and the buttons go through the holes. Put it aside. Now let's look at this. So now we have to unsolder these four pins and solder to a new one. So let me get the soldering. Hey. The old board, the screen that fell off. So you could throw these away. So, new board, you can see the buttons, the screen should be attached like this. But even if the numbers look like incorrect, you still have to do this. Okay, so you see the connections here. EXE minus this one, SIG minus is this one, SIG plus is this one, and EXE plus is this one. So, I should have to put solder on it. So you see I just put some solder on there because the solder on these cables will stick on easier. So it's going to look a little weird because I'm going to flip this.
So hopefully it looks a little better. Okay, it's good in there. Now connect the power cord. And before you turn it on, or close it up, I should say, Put that on there. I should try turning it on. Let's see, all the numbers look good. So, seems fine. We're gonna close it up and then probably go through the calibration. Okay, I'm here, so check on this. It is moving around a little bit, so it does worry me, it does worry me a little bit. So to fix the wobble, you do have to notice the wobble. It's a six millimeter hex screw. I'm gonna tighten that. Okay, seems tight, and I'll take it to Calvin. Okay, I have it currently hanging. So this, and you'll see in the model, 10K, E2 pounds, so 10K capacity with two pound accuracy. So turn it on, and if you don't remember all the settings for FS value, because that's what we're gonna select, you're gonna have to go back to OP925 calibration video. So let's try turning it on and go into the calibration. Okay, that's good. And we fixed his crane scale so I can go back in stock. And that's the problem for today. Thank you. Bye.